And Jeff, as you know, one thing for sure, you don't want to be called out by your hometown rabbi or preacher or priest. And that is what happened this week to senior presidential advisor Stephen Miller, an influential force in the Trump administration, especially on controversial immigration policies. When the congregation at Beth Shir Shalom Synagogue in Santa Monica sang out this week in celebration of Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, it was a celebration with a strong message from Rabbi Neil Comas Daniels. He says when presidential advisor Stephen Miller was a child, his family was briefly members of the congregation. But there were groans when Rabbi Comas Daniels began his sermon reading a letter to Stephen Miller. To Stephen Miller. <laughs> Miller, who is Jewish, grew up in Santa Monica and attended Santa Monica High School. And today he plays a major role in the Trump administration. The New York Times reports Miller is a key designer of President Donald Trump's hardline immigration policies, including the zero tolerance policy that led to the separation of families who illegally crossed the U.S. border. In his Rosh Hashanah sermon, Rabbi Comas Daniels called him out on that. The zero tolerance policy is completely antithetical to everything I know about Judaism, Jewish law, and Jewish values. We have to take up this moral slack um, that has this moral void uh, uh, that uh, is, is now gaping in front of us that we need, to, we need to fill it up with justice. In defending the zero tolerance policies, Miller said this to the New York Times. It was a simple decision by the administration to have a zero tolerance policy for illegal entry, period. The message is that no one is exempt from immigration law. Rabbi Comas Daniels says Miller was about nine years old when his family joined the congregation for a year or two, but the policies he's promulgating now are not consistent with what he was taught in Hebrew school. When a Jew is in charge of, of something like this, it becomes almost inconceivable that someone who knows these values could then go ahead and uh, construct a policy like this and put it into action. The criticism from his hometown Jewish community, including one of Miller's own uncles, might be stinging rebuttal. But not all Jews have been critical of him. In fact, some more politically conservative Orthodox Jews applaud Miller and the Trump administration for taking a strong stand in support of Israel, moving the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem, and cutting off contact and funding to some Palestinian entities. Now, we mentioned that Stephen Miller's uncle in the report, his name is David Glosser, and he recently wrote a piece for Politico in which he said he watched with dismay and increasing horror as his nephew became the architect of immigration policies that repudiate the very foundation of the family's life in this country. Like many Jews who fled persecution in Eastern Europe, Miller's ancestors immigrated to the U.S. in the early 1900s. Susie, back to you. Thank you, Dave.